Hey, so this is a quick walkthrough on IntelliJ and enabling PMD and check style via the QA plug plugin for IntelliJ. So the basic idea here is we really like the IntelliJ inspections, but maybe we wanted to run find bugs in PMD and check style in the IDE, the same way we're going to run in our CI build. So I'm just going to enable that in IntelliJ here. So with the same rule files uh, that we use in our CI build, our command line builds, and that way we can keep um, this in sync. So there's actually two parts to this. One is we can actually configure the plugin and use the analyze function. And the other one is we can uh, enable this in the inspection so that it actually shows up on the screen without having to run a separate analyze pass. I actually like the analyze pass, but I also like the inspections piece. There's some other plugins that I thought were a little easier to use for inspections for PMD and check style and find bugs. Um, I'll cover those in another video. So basically the idea is I'm going to come up here and do uh, file settings on the Mac. This would be preferences or IntelliJ preferences. And um, if I look here, I can see that uh, QA plug is not currently installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to browse the repositories. It's going to go out to the internet, QA plug. I'm going to go, hey, look at all that. So I'm going to actually install all of these. I'm going to right mouse on this and download it install. Install all five plugins. Yep, that's what I want to do. So this will take a minute. Um, one of them takes a little longer than the other, but um, I don't even know what Hammurapi is, but I'm installing it anyway just so that QA plug doesn't keep bugging me to tell me to install it. Okay, so if I click OK, it's actually going to want to do a restart, so we'll, we'll let it do the restart here. This will take a second. So we've installed the plugins. Now what we're going to do, so we have a couple options here. Um, IntelliJ has some default profiles, so you can actually add these PMD and check style and find bugs or whatever rules you want into your default profile. I'm actually going to create separate profiles here because that way um, I can show you that I actually just ran that subset. So if we come back to this here and we come back to settings, file settings, oops. And we come to other settings. You can actually see here that I've got the QA plug plugins installed. Now, these let you do some little configuration, but basically you set up the coding rules for all of them in one place. So I'm actually gonna delete these two profiles that were here from before. Okay, and we'll click apply. All right, so by default, you've got the IDE profiles and the project profiles. I'm gonna create a custom PMD and a custom check style profile, and then I'll show you how to use those. So if I were to say plus, I'm gonna create a project profile. We're gonna call this uh, custom check style. We're gonna import a file. This is actually gonna be in my downloads folder because uh, I just grabbed a couple of these off the internet. So now you'll get to see what's in my directory. That's awesome. So we find the downloads folder and I click OK. Oops, that's not it. That was dumb. So we're going to go to the downloads folder. We'll scroll down beyond the folders here and we will look for something called check style here. So this is going to be a custom check style profile. And then I click OK. Hey, 63 rules, now 69 deactivated. You can now see I have a custom check style. I'm also going to do the PMD one while I'm sitting here. So I'm going to create a new project profile. We're going to call this custom PMD. I'm going to import. Um, and then I'm going to come down here to PMD. Blah, blah, blah. What have I been working on lately? I am really not a big fan of this panel. But hey. You don't. Uh, okay, so I'm going to pick PMD rule set here. So I think is the one I want. And you can see we picked up a whole bunch of rules. And you can see, so the thing you want to see here is, right, so if I look here, you can see that, uh, well, let's find one that's actually up. So let's try 
here you can see it's only the last one here and I picked the wrong color scheme but basically it's regex singleton regex regular expression singleton under general generic and you can see generics disabled here right so so you can see that these are actually two different rule sets um, because you can see generics disabled in PMD because there are no PMD rules that were classified as generic um, so the basic idea is right so now I've got these two profiles I can use I could actually just do a standard could have loaded this all into the project default so now I'm going to click OK. All right. So the simplest way to run this, my impression is, um, the simplest way is with the integrations with the inspections. But let's say we want to run PMD just against the main real quick to see what the build's going to look like. And I'm not doing it in inspection, so I'm going to do it in this instead. I can actually do analyze here. And what I'll do is I'll actually pick analyze code. It'll let you pick the profile you want. In my case, I'm going to just do a PMD, quick PMD check. So I can say custom PMD here. And I will click OK. So it's actually going to run PMD against this. You can see that there are 13 PMD failures with this rule set. So let's see what they are. Uh, unused private field. I can come out here. And it's actually this field right here. You can also see, um, I haven't done a, there's a build problem here. I'll have to go look at it. But basically the idea is that, um, what are we doing here? Navigate to the spring bean declaration. So basically that's it, right? You basically, you just go find the error that you're looking for and it will take you to that line. So it's telling us that parameters not being, um, unused constructor parameters. So if we have a constructor parameter that's not being used, right? So you can also filter these. Uh, this will let you group by severity instead of by type. So if I were to slip this, you can see these are blockers. So you can rate your PMD rules by severity and it'll pick that up. Okay, so for check style, so what did we have here, right? For pet for PMD, we had 13 violations. So let's do the same thing with check style real quick. So I will go to analyze, analyze code, which is outside the screen. You can't really see it. So if we were to say analyze, I'm actually picking analyze code off the bottom of the screen. Sorry about that. Is there a way for me to do this? Let me see if I can do it differently. Da, 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 analyze, analyze code. Now we're on the screen. We click OK. We're going to pick the check style rules. Remember we had 13 PMD failures. Now it's going to run the check style and it did not find anything. How is that possible? So let me try one more time. I will analyze. It'll fall off the screen. Sorry about that. Run the custom check style rules. And now it's running check style. So we had 738 check stylers. There were 13 PMD, 738 check style. If we look at the generic one here, we can actually come in. We got trailing spaces on a line. I don't actually see that on this one. This one, I'm not sure what's happening there. Also found some tabs and some other things. So basically check style is going to find kind of the formatty things and PMD is going to find bugs. So that's it um, for, hey, I just want to run some analysis and use my rules, right? If you, uh, and I use custom rule sets. So if you want to integrate this with inspections, the way you can do that is you can go file settings. You can go to the editor. You click on inspections. This will actually tell you which inspections you're going to enable. If, you know, it's probably a lot faster if you don't enable everything on the planet. But what you can see here is, let me scroll down, QA plug, right? So if you were to enable QA plug, <coughs> real time analysis, I actually here just going to do them all as information. And then you click OK. And then you run your inspections, right? Now this should run automatically, but I'm going to run it just so inspections will run the real time embedded IntelliJ inspections and not do the analysis. So I'm actually going to run with do, do, do the project default uh, profile. We'll click OK. So I probably should have put those guys in the project default, but I just wanted to give you a feel for how this would work. You can see that these are all the normal inspections. It's actually running through the different sections. 
So we'll let this run for a minute. I'll show you QA plug. That's actually got to run in the background. So we'll wait a minute. I will talk and wave my hands temporarily while we wait to do this. This is called stalling. <clears throat> so we'll do another talk on different plugins and how they integrate. There's a couple I like a little better for integration, but QA plug is great because you can get Textile, PMD, and find bugs all in one place. Do, do, do. Why is it not doing the SQL? Because I enabled everything. All the inspections are there. So it's going to look at all the different files for different types. Like I said, if you want to do a full inspection, I'd probably disable things that you're not using. So you can actually see here, uh, these are all the normal inspection types. But if I were to scroll down and open QA plug, you can see that QA plugs generated a whole bunch of errors. This is actually using the default profile now instead of my custom ones. But you basically would edit the default profile. Um, I showed you the custom ones before just so I could break out and show you that the two different pieces. Instead, you would load all your configs into the default profile for the project, and then they would show up here in the regular inspections. Right? And then if you were to highlight over here, no, 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 no let's see if we can find one. Uh, so if we look at this one, uh, variable ID must be private and have accessors. That's a check style, actually. Um, you can see uh, basically the QA plugs will show up here also. All right, so that's it. Um, in this case, I'm actually going to want to turn all this off so I don't mess it up for later when I do another talk. So I am actually going to go to the settings, delete the two profiles that I've got. So I will go here, go here, go here, clean up. I'm going to delete that, delete that. Go to the, oh, click apply. So that'll delete those. Then I will go to the plugins here. And then I will type in QA plug. And then I will uninstall and continue to remove, uninstall, 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 and uninstall. And I will click apply, and I'll click OK, and it'll restart, and then the QA plug will be disabled. And that's it.